So today we're not only going to look at a new knife design, but a brand new locking system as well. And it's made by same dude that's responsible for the Kaiser Cormorant. Once you see how it works, you know, and the materials they use, you are not going to believe the price because I know I can't. The Vastid Ankylo features a new pivot-based push-button lock called the Vancor. And all it is is it's just the letter V combined with the word anchor. Simple, right? Look, a push button pivot, you know, that's it. It's nothing new. You know, we've seen it before in Sierra KT's bolt lock here, but the way Vastid's lock operates, and that is a different story entirely. Both locks do keep your fingers away, you know, from the cutting path of that blade, you know, during closing, you know, just like a, uh, I don't know, a crossbar lock or an axis. When you, when you push down on the uh, button on a bolt lock, you can see, yeah, it kind of, it's going to stick out on the opposite side. So, you know, you do have to move your finger so that blade will close. With Vostid's lock, now there's nothing, nothing that's protruding on the opposite side. So you're able to, you're able to keep your finger on the pivot the whole time. I don't know about you, but I've never had a bolt lock, you know, with like true drop shut action. I mean, maybe it's just my bad luck because I always, always end up Yep, having to give it a good shake for it to close. With the Vancor lock, not only does it drop shut, oof, that thing just drops shut crazy fast. And, you know, that part of that is because, well, the blade is riding on ceramic ball bearings. Another huge difference between the two, you can actually use the lock, yep, to open the blade. I I've never been able to do that with CRKT's lock. The YouTubers that Vostid, you know, sent these knives out to, you know, even a nobody like me with a speck of dust sized channel, you know, they gave us some uh, like visual aids, you know, to help understand how this new lock works. But I didn't know that at first. So just imagine, you know, like getting a new knife, you know, you, you, you take it out of the box and then you see all this stuff that comes with it. I was like, oh my God, what, what did I get myself into? But now I know. Now I know what it's all for, so hey, we're good. Now, this is not gonna come with the knife, you know, that, that you buy, because it's the, this is the unfinished lock bar, which it started out as a five millimeter thick, like chunk of steel, and, and then it was milled down, you know, to this. Here's what it would look like, you know, if we opened it up. Now that, that lock bar you can see is, it's gonna be mounted on, obviously on the inside, but on the clip side of the scale. When you push the button, it's gonna move this like section of the lock bar out of the way to go ahead and unlock the blade. Just like a frame lock, you can see there's uh, in the middle, yeah, there's like a, it's a relief cut on the lock bar. So it, you know, flexes back and forth without bending it. What's really interesting is that there is a, there's actually a, a magnet inside, which keeps the button, yep, in constant contact with that lock face. So this just eliminates the possibility, you know, of the lock failing and it keeps the button recessed, you know, while the the blade is closed, you know, to avoid any like accidental opening, you know, when it's in your pocket. Here's just a few like quick size comparisons, you know, so you can get an idea of the actual length of the Ankylo. We get a, it's a 3.18 inch flat ground blade in Elmac steel, you know, which is, you know, it's known for it's good edge retention, like corrosion resistance, and it's, you know, easy to sharpen. It's you know, sometimes it's compared to like S45VN. And that reverse tanto uh, blade shape kind of reminds me of the, uh, do you remember the uh, Zero Tolerance 0456? Kind of reminds me of that one. And, you know, I was I was kind of surprised about that, uh, the blade thickness, because, I, you know, to me, it looks it looks a little bit thicker than 3.4 millimeters. In the open position, you can see that that flipper, it's completely hidden. So yeah, it's gonna be great for, you know, cutting on a flat surface like countertop with a forward choil that is just, yeah, that is just large enough for my finger so I can choke up. It has a 4.57 inch aluminum handle with a frag pattern that does give it some good traction. But, you know, if you're not really a, you know, a fan of this stuff, they do have some, some plain handle options available. In total, there's gonna to be like six different handle colors you know, and three different blade finishes. A, uh, there's a satin, regular stone wash, and of course, 
this uh, black stone wash, which I really like. I have medium sized hands and can get a, a good, like full four finger grip. Yeah, without having to choke up. Now I brought back out the Elementum 2 and the uh, the bug out. The, so you can see how the handle thickness is. It's slightly over that half inch mark at about 0.56, which to be honest, it, you know, it is noticeable just because of, you know, how it fills my hand. And, I, you know, to me, that's a good thing. All the edges are chamfered, so it is yet very comfortable in hand, you know, and without any hot spots. The Anculo has uh, three different opening options. Well, four, you know, if you count the button. There's a low profile flipper tab, a front flipper, and thumb hole. And I think that, you know, all of them work great, but you do have to, you have to kind of like light switch the, the flipper tab, you know, just to get your finger out of the way. Because sometimes if you don't do that, yep, it's going to make contact with the uh, front flipper and then preventing a clean deployment. The detent, yeah, like it's, it's strong. I mean, you can, you can clearly hear it, but you know, the closing action, I think the closing action is slightly better than the opening. I find myself, you know, giving it like just a lit, like a little bit, yeah, a little bit of wrist, you know, to the th thumb flick it, but you know, that might have more to do with like the handle thickness and you know, how close, you know, how close the thumb hole is to the scales. On mine, that detent, oh yeah, that is like tuned perfectly, you know, for a middle finger flick, which so far I think is probably gonna be, yeah, it's probably gonna be the easiest option. Now this probably goes without saying, but the, that lockup, oh yeah, that, that thing is solid. And there is like, there's zero play in any direction. A milled pocket clip, you know, would have looked, yeah, it'd look really nice, but you know, the price tag would probably be, you know, a bit higher, which we'll get to in a second. But you know, those uh, milled titanium clips, they never really function all that well for me anyway. So, you know, I'm good with this one. The shallow mounted, like stamped steel clip, it does have, oh yeah, yeah, it has good retention. And you can see it's recessed into the scale, but unfortunately, Nope, no lefty love today. The solidly built Ankylo is, you know, it's constructed entirely out of metal. So, you know, the 4.76 ounce weight, you know, it's understandable. They did do some like internal skeletonization, you know, in an effort to uh, keep that weight down. So uh, man, without it, oh yeah, this thing would have been a heck of a lot heavier. I've had this knife, you know, for a little while now, but without really knowing the price, and honestly, I thought, I really did. I thought it was going to cost at least, you know, 200 bucks. I was, I was absolutely shocked to see the $159 price tag. Thank you, Vastid. I mean, for this type of innovation, you know, that is like, that's well beyond a good deal. I mean, that's, it's practically stealing. So should you buy one? Well, I mean, if you're looking for, you know, a hard use, full metal constructed knife, you know, with a L max blade that, whew, that cuts well, has a very strong lock. Uh, yeah, yeah, I would before they're gone. Now to buy the Vostede Ankylo, I, I included a link in the description uh, and it's to their uh, Kickstarter campaign. Cause that's, that's the way they're funding it, which is going to run until May 6th 2024 you know depends when you're watching this and uh, with you know all those orders are going to start shipping in june now if you're as big of a fan of vasti knives you know as i am check out this next video that's up on the screen where i go ahead and rank my top 10 favorite vasti knives if you like this video hey would you let me know give it in a thumbs up and subscribe if you're looking for knife reviews they get right to the point